hello friends today in this tutorial in this live stream we will be building a complete uh, age calculator inside uh, javascript in browser so basically we will give the user the opportunity to input the number of years of age and then we will convert that age into number of months number of uh, days number of hours minutes seconds and weeks and i will display that inside the table so let me just wait for the viewers to join in and then we will start the video so this project will be made inside pure javascript so i will be using no external library only pure javascript we will use to build this age calculator so we will write the basic markup here so we can give the title age calculator in javascript so basically if i open this you will see this title is there and for building this we will also use bootstrap so you can say bootstrap cdn and you can go to this w3schools.com website and you can grab the cdn or bootstrap it's only the css part so simply you need to paste this cdn so after this so after this guys we can just have a container class of bootstrap and inside this we will have a heading in the center position that javascript age calculator application so if we refresh it you will see this heading there age calculator now we will have a simple form here which lets the user to submit the file here so we will give it a form tag so form id we will give it to it and inside this guys we will have a simple input field so this will be input type of text and here we will give it a name attribute or oh, sorry id to it of number of i can say age here like this it should be required and here we will say enter age in years and we will also give it a label enter your age in years so if you refresh it you will see this input box here so for styling it we also need to attach a form group form control class to it this is bootstrap class you can see that now we need to have a button so that we can submit the form up till now if any sort of problem is there you can ask it in the comment section so after that guys we will have form group inside this we will have the button button danger button dash block so here we will say calculate age if you refresh it now you will see our button will be there calculate age so we can add this container class to it so the interface is complete guys here you will put your age in numeric value and then it will convert this to minutes hours second weeks and as well so you have seen these tools in in the online so we will be building this tool so we will not be using jquery so this will be vanilla javascript project so pure javascript we will use here and now we will first of all get the reference of the form let form we will say document dot query selector is a method here you will see query selector and we have given the id to it so hatch symbol form after getting the reference form add event listener we will add a event listener so when the form submits this automatically this function will execute we will say e dot prevent default 
and after that guys we will uh, get the value which the user has entered inside the age so document dot query selector once again we will use and here we will pass the id which we have given which is this id which is age now to get the value we will say dot dot value that's it after getting the value guys we can say calculate age this is the function and we will pass the age that's it so function calculate age so we will get the age in numeric value which the user has passed so inside this function guys what we will do is that first of all we will have a simple div which will have the result like this so here we will display inside the tabular format the result the calculate how many edges are required so if you have any sort of doubt you can just ask it in the comment section so if you have any sort of question guys you can ask it please hit the like button of the stream as well so that more and more people can join in so here we will first of all convert the age to months then days then weeks then hours then minutes then seconds so these we will be converting to that so first of all declare the variables so let month is equal to so this will be equal to age multiplied by the number of months which are there inside the year so i think in order to calculate this we need to first of all get the number of days so here we will calculate the age multiplied by the number of days which is 365 so we can multiply this so this comes out to be the days value now we can calculate the number of months according to this so this will be divided by days divided by 30 because 30 days are there inside one month on average and then weeks will be simply days multiplied by 7 because in one week there are 7 days so we need to multiply days by 7 to get the number of weeks and now to get the number of hours this is simple math you can take the number of days here multiplied it by the number of hours which are there in each day which is 24 and this will have the number of hours days multiplied by 24 and for calculating the minutes it will be days multiplied by 24 because in so we need to multiply days by 24 multiplied by 60 because in each hour there are 60 minutes so we need to multiply it by 60 and last but not least we have seconds so this will be days multiplied by 24 multiplied by 60 and in each minute there are also 60 minutes so we need to multiply it by 60 so this will calculate the number of seconds so now we have calculated all the things here which is days months weeks hours minutes seconds so now we can display this on the screen so for this we will get the reference document dot query selector so we have given the id which is result so now we need to 
bind this inside this result div so for doing this we will use the inner html property but before that we need to have the table ready so back tick symbol here we will construct our table so we will give the table the class which is table table striped so this is a bootstrap class so inside this we will have the table head tag so inside this we will have table row and then we will have the table headings so the first heading will be for number of days then we will have months then we have weeks then we have hours then we have uh, minutes after minutes we have seconds so six things are there one two three four so after this we will have the table body tag so this will have table row table data so inside table data we will put the variables first will be days so this is a way you can see dollar sign curly brackets and followed by variable name after days we need to print out months then weeks after that we have hours minutes and seconds So now hopefully the application is complete first and also we need to add this to the DOM. So this is this line is very important. Without it the table will not be shown to. So we have the reference to the this result div inside this variable which is result. Simply we will say result dot inner HTML and this will be equal to this table. So now if you open this, if you provide a numeric value 24, oh sorry there needs to be this hash symbol because we have given this id here which is age so this needs to be hash symbol so once again if you run this so now you can see it inside this beautiful table it will print out the number of days number of months it will also print out weeks hours minutes and seconds so this is kind of a mini age calculator which where you convert your age into days months weeks hours minutes and seconds so in this application we haven't used any sort of external dependency such as jquery it is all pure javascript and you have seen these tools online 
if you just type on google cage calculator so if you pick any sort of date here then also it, they will tell you the in months weeks days hours minutes and seconds so this is exact application that we have built inside this tutorial so simple line of code is there only single index.html you can also deploy this inside your website also so just add some styling to it just add some content also so all the source code of this application will be there inside video description So let me write the blog post and give give the so this is the website I will add a new blog post So this will be having single index.html files so 